As I have said, we are celebrating, I mean the world is celebrating April Fool's Day today. But look at all these people who gathered today. We are no fools, right? right? We are no fools because God can never fool us. Every Easter Sunday, I would always remember the day when my father, from his resolute and sinful lives, after a long sickness, after a terminal sickness, when he was healed by our Lord. One day, it was Sunday, and it was indeed Easter Sunday, when he told my mom, Ning, have the children ready. And my mom thought all the while that he will invite all of us to gambling because that's what he is doing every Sunday. You go to the gambling with fighting cocks. And my mother said, no, Ding, me and, my, and our children will be going to the church today. And my mother looked at him with his eyes seemed glisten with tears. Precisely, Ning, prepare the children. We will go to church together today. That was the most momentous moment that Gaudencia waited in her life for 35 years that one day our father will be with us going to church on Sunday. That's why when I see the families this morning holding hands together and going to the church, I remember that Easter day when our seemingly absent father was now present with us in the church. So my dear friends, going back to our reflection on today's gospel reading, 33 years before this day that we are celebrating, that day, 33 years, the shepherd at the humble place of Bethlehem went into the place, to the cave, went into the cave, and they saw, and they believed. That signifies Jesus' presence. And the three kings, coming from other places, followed the star, and went into Bethlehem and to the place they saw and they believed the presence of the king. But today, is there any instance that the absence signifies existence? His presence? If there is one, today is the most perfect one. Because Peter and the other disciple went into the tomb and they saw his absence and he believed that signifies his existence. Mary Magdalene and the other two women 
went into the tomb and they saw an empty tomb. His absence signified his existence. So my dear friends, there are times in our lives that the seemingly absent God signifies his existence. The moment that we seemingly don't feel his presence is in fact, he is there with us. All we have to do is to reach out to him because God, because our Lord will never turn his back to us. He will never turn his back to us. All we have to do is to call on him, to seek him, to reach out to him, and more so, and the very different presence, the absence of the physical presence of Christ would lead us to say his seemingly absent will signify his presence when you and me reach out to our dear brothers and sisters, especially those who are in need. Probably, it may be, or it might be your mother, your father, who is sick, or your brother or your sister, or your children, when we reach out. My dear friends, it is very significant to listen and be very keen on what the gospel is presenting to us symbolically, very symbolic. Why? Look at what happened when Simon Peter and the other disciple, they saw the burial clothes there. But the cloth that covered the head of our Lord it was not with the burial clothes, but it was in the separate place, rolled up or folded, and placed in a separate place. Why? Very symbolic. Because on the culture of the Jews, the Hebrew culture, when the master is at the table eating, having meal. The servant would see to it that everything is on the master's table, that he will basically enjoy the meal. And the servant would keenly observe when, for example, when the master rises up from the table, the servant will be very keen and look at the table napkin. When it is just thrown on the table unfolded, meaning to say that the servant will do the table. He will, you know, know that the master is done with his meal. But when the master rise up and le leave and the table napkin is still folded neatly on the table, it means the master is not done. He is coming back. So my dear friends, very significant sign, Jesus is not done with us yet. He will come back because of the folded, you know, cloth that covered his head, the master of, or the head of his body, the church. That's why on the resurrection day, it is not the end because our Lord is not done with us yet. That's why we wait for him. 
because he will be coming back because he is not yet done with us. That is our belief. He is coming back with the folded cloth. He is coming back. So my dear friends, that's why every Sunday we gathered. We gathered. Why? We gathered because we remember how you loved us through your death. And still we celebrate for you are with us here. And we believe that we will see you when you come. In your glory, Lord, we remember, we celebrate, we believe. Remember the folded cloth. That's why. We always come back to this place because we remember and we are waiting for him because we, he is not done with us yet. We expect him on his second coming. Remember the full dead cloth. Our master, our head, is not yet done with us. So next Sunday, I hope, I hope once more all this family who will, families who have gathered today will be coming back because we remember we celebrate we believe